Welcome to XLM Solutions EPDM Engineering Change Demo. This demo will demonstrate how engineering changes can be performed in EPDM. In my case, I am going to perform an engineering change on SolidWorks parts. However, the tool can be configured to only allow engineering change in drawings, drawings and parts, or even individual configurations within a part. In this example, we will perform engineering changes not only on the file itself, but reflect the various configurations within the part. I will select the parts I want to perform an engineering change on, perform a right click, and call my EPDM add-in called Create ERN. I get an EPDM template, and this EPDM template can be totally configurable. It is actually based on the EPDM template functionality. I fill in my information. And a reason for change. Once that's done, I will hit OK and the engineering change information and the information about the part selected will be placed in an Excel engineering change template. In the background, Excel is now collecting this data and populating the information. Once it is finished, we get notified that the ERN was created. The tool is configured to place the ERN data in a folder within EPDM called ERNs. As you can see, a new ERN was created with the various information that was filled in regarding EC number, change description, reason for change, and the part information with the various parts configurations. You can control what information from the EPDM data card is automatically populated in this file. Not only can you control what information is populated, but you can control the format of the file, whether it's an Excel file as seen here, a Word document, an XML file, or any other file format. In my case, I'm going to manually enter information regarding the change reasons. And I could enter this information for all the various parts and their configurations. I can save the file, check the file into EPDM, and you will notice that the various parts selected or files selected are automatically linked to the engineering change. And the engineering, the Excel file engineering data card also has the various information. I can perform my change states on it now or its approvals. So I will do a submit for approval, look at the information and approve it, go to the next state, which will actually put it into the approval state. When this happens, not only will the files go into the approval state, but a PDF of the engineering change document will be created. You can see the document gets populated in Excel to create the engineering change and in this solution I have it configured to put my engineering change documents in a folder called completed PDFs. So you can see now that once the engineering change was completed a PDF of the document gets generated based on that source engineering change document as in my case the Excel file. Thank you for watching the demo on our EPDM Engineering Change solution. For more information, please contact XLM Solutions per the information on the screen. Thank you.